Hello everybody! I hope that you're all doing well despite of what's happening. Alam niyo po yung mga anak ko mahilig sila sa mga stories, mahilig silang mag-read ng books. And one of Noah's favorite books is the Curious George book. And my youngest naman si Tobias, he loves anything with wheels. So anything about buses, trucks, cars, gusto niya yan. And you know when we read children's stories, usually the stories are very light, it's very fun, and always it has a happy ending. Well, sino ba naman sa mga magulang ang gustong magkwento sa mga anak nila ng mga nakakatakot na bagay or anything that might include um pain or suffering? Uh, ayaw natin yun. Siyempre kasi naisip natin, bata pa masyado yung mga anak natin for them to to hear those kinds of stories. Pero what if the greatest story that we can tell our children, that we must tell our children, involves so much pain, so much suffering, and even death? Should we avoid telling them that just so we could spare our children from being afraid or from being sad? Alam niyo po ako, I am so super grateful to be locked down with my children and my family this Holy Week. Kasi usually during this time, every year, um, we would plan our vacation during Holy Week. We would go out of town or out of the country. And kami ng asawa ko, we are very guilty of neglecting and not taking the opportunity to teach our children about Holy Week. But I realized that now more than ever, it is very important for my children to truly understand and grasp the significance of Holy Week in their lives. For them to understand how deep the Father's love is for them. So how do we teach our children about Holy Week? How do we tell it to them in a way that they will understand? Um, number one, in anything and in everything, we must pray first. Pray, pray, pray. Let us pray. Ask God for wisdom on how to go about it. Let's ask God to prepare our hearts, to prepare our children's hearts so that they will understand as well. And you know, with children, um, they like, they understand if when you use simple words, words that are appropriate for their age. Um, for example, we can say, you know, when Jesus died on the cross, he made a way back for us to be with God. And you know those simple words, they can easily understand that. And children also like visuals. They like to look at the pictures. You know, when you read to them, they like to look at the, the drawings and the illustrations. So if you have um, children's Bibles at home, you can use that to show it to them, the things that happened um, in the days that led up to the death of Jesus. Um, if you if you can find, or if you have, maybe you have this at home, the Jesus Storybook Bible. It's a beautiful Bible story that is uh, that has a lot of illustrations, and every story truly points to Jesus. And also, um, if you can go check out www. Um, without walls ph slash walkway they have a digital edition of walkway there um, if you've been to bgc in the past years during holy week where they have walkway stations of the cross um, digital version now they even have a kids edition that you can go through with your children to help them understand um, what happened during those days it has illustrations and they use really very kid-friendly words as well um, another tip is um, not really tip but advice um, tell them the whole story don't skip any part even though it's so difficult, even though it seems very hard or painful, don't skip any part from the Last Supper to Judas' betrayal, Peter's denial, um, the suffering of Jesus, the nailing on the cross, the empty tomb and the resurrection. Tell them everything. Don't skip any part. You know, I remember when I told Noah um, the story of the death of Jesus for the first time. He really asked me, why mommy? Why did they do that to Jesus? He did not do anything wrong. And he was really very sad. And you know, we can expect that with our children when we tell them about Holy Week, when we teach them about Holy Week, for them to be sad. And some of them might even cry. And that's okay. As long as you tell them that the story doesn't end there. The story has a happy ending. Because Jesus is not dead. He did not stay dead. He is alive. 
and that is a happy ending that your children can look forward to also take your time um, don't rush into the story this is a very 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 powerful story and um, allow your children to reflect to absorb to understand it um, i'm sure they will have questions so be ready for with an answer to the, their questions another thing is um don't underestimate your children, you know, sometimes sa kala natin, masyado pas lang bata to understand, but you know, our children are really very smart. They really understand what we tell them or what we share to them. And, you know, one more thing, when we say stories or when we read stories to our children, akala nila, story lang. But, you know, tell our children, no anak, this is not just an ordinary story. This is history. This really happened 2,000 years ago. Remind them, remind them that and make sure that they know that. And, you know, as parents, I guess before we can teach our children about Holy Week, we must first examine our hearts. Do we really understand it ourselves? Do we really know the meaning of that for ourselves? You know, the days leading up to Jesus' death is a very powerful reminder of God's love for us. Romans 5, 8 says, God shows us his love in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus died for us. Why? Why did he suffer on the cross for us? Why did he have to be nailed on the cross for us? It's simply because He loves us so much. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him will not perish but will have eternal life. Um, parents, if you have known this story, you've heard about this story several times, but only now do you feel that you know, this is really something personal. This is really something that God has done for you. And you really want to know more about it. And you even want to tell this to your children. You want to teach your children about this. I would like to pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this opportunity, Lord God, to share, Father God, to other parents, Lord, what I have learned with, with Noah. Um, I pray, Father God, that you... Touch these parents' hearts, O oh Lord God, and that you reveal yourself to them, Father. You give them wisdom, Lord God, on how to understand what you did for them and how much you love them. And in the same way, Father God, I pray that you touch their children's hearts and that you prepare their children's hearts, Father God, for their children to understand, O oh Lord, what you have done for them on the cross 2,000 years ago and how much you love them. Thank you, Father God. And in everything, we give you glory and thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This Holy Week, I encourage you not to, to let this time slip by and take this opportunity to really teach your children about Holy Week. You know what? No. Don't just use this week to tell your children about what Jesus did for them on the cross 2,000 years ago. Take every opportunity. Take every opportunity to tell your children how much God loves them and what God did for them 2,000 years ago, even before they were born. Thank you so much and God bless us all.